I love that music. I love the opening every time. Yes, and this is one of the last times we're going to hear it because Fat Tuesday is winding down along the Gulf Coast. But it's been a day filled with fun. We're talking moon pies, beads, stuffed animals, and this year, some cold wind and rain. Yes, and that's where we find, we're going to find uh, Fox News reporter Michael Brennan. He was in the elements all day long. He joins us now live in downtown Mobile. Michael, how is it going out there, buddy? Hey, Andrew and Letitia. It was definitely cold. It was windy, rainy, and dreary today, but I have to, I have a feeling all the people who came down here to the Mardi Gras parades today, they all thought it was pretty fun. Everyone has a favorite part about Mardi Gras. The, the stuff that I catch. The parades. What's your favorite part about Mardi Gras? Uh, the parades. The parades? What about you? Parade. And with the parades, come all sorts of throws. Um, I caught a cow. A real cow? No. No, it's like a stuffed cow. Oh, a stuffed cow. You, you, you had me there for a second. I thought you, I thought you caught a real cow. No. What about you? A horn. A horn. Can you blow it for me? As for the cold temperatures and rainy weather, is there enough room under that for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cold out here. It's freezing cold. So I guess the, the weather has not deterred you guys from coming out. We have a room at the battle house, so that's why. So you're right across the street. <laughs> right. What the heck, we'll just come that's, out and get a few beats. That's the only reason we're out here. For some, it was quite a successful day at Mardi Gras. You got a bag full of beads already and the parade just started. Talk to me about how you did that. Oh, we got a team working right here. We got a team, you see what I'm saying? We're going to take these beads to Krispy Kreme later and get some donuts. That's what the plan is. We got like 40 pounds back in our room. Like every 12 pounds, you get a free dozen. So the next few weeks, it's cost is we're going to tear these tongues up. Is this your partner in crime? Oh, partner. Yeah. This is first parade. First ever? First Mardi Gras parade ever. Well, is the rain, uh, is the rain having an effect on it? No, dude, it's still great. It's still awesome. It's crazy. You're pretty and it was also Simone Eli's first parade, too. You were down here in the elements, and it was cold, windy, and rainy. And unlike those guys, though, you do not have as many beads as they do, but you do have one here. I do. I No doubt I do. This is, of course, the Mardi Gras colors. I do have a special one, the state of Ohio, which is where I'm from. Yes, this was my first Mardi Gras, my first witness of a parade. It has been quite the adventure. The weather I'm used to from being up north, Michael, but right. what an incredible experience tonight was. I Truly, I truly loved it. You know, typically it's we would expect and we would hope for nicer, uh, nicer weather during these parades. Certainly. But today, it still did not deter so many people from coming out. I mean, it was still fun for all these folks out. It, it absolutely was. I was told there would have been a bigger turnout yeah. had it been nicer. However, people still lined the streets, got you know beaded with these beads. You know, no pun intended, but <laughs> truly, it was actually painful. I'll have more on that later, but. So many things were thrown, and it's not just one set of beads at a time. It's like dozens. It's like here, you know, one little child take, you know, 1,200 beads just thrown at your face. <laughs> we're used to that, so yeah. it's definitely a shock for Simone. <laughs> yes, no doubt. <laughs> we're going to hear more from Simone later. Uh, she was uh, out in the crowds today, out in the elements, so we're going to hear from, more from her coming up at 930. But for now, we're going to send it back to the studio to uh, Andrew and Letitia. Guys? That's got to be a big, big culture shock, <laughs> Simone. <laughs> but a lot of fun. Michael, it was an absolutely awesome experience. Now, the these people yeah. who throw things off of the floats, they do not like the media. Either they don't like them or they just no, want attention at because they try to drill you with things. Yeah, they do, absolutely. I had somebody throwing all sorts of candy corn, uh, the little pieces of uh, candy at me earlier today as if I was some sort of a target. Yes, absolutely. Now, my favorite item, being a sports chick, obviously, was the football, which I did not, by the way, actually catch. It was thrown at our camera, but I eventually got it. Now, that was probably my favorite thing. My second favorite item, no doubt, was this the guy. Lights. The lightsaber, and it's green. That. Oh, there like it goes. It. So exciting. I actually stole this from a little boy. I asked him if I could have it, and he said yes. So I really did not catch anything, but check out the bag. Well, yeah, but you, you, but you also caught this. This I know. is a pretty hefty I know. bag here. I know. I, I even got a rose. How romantic the is that? Look at that. Know, That's look at awesome. That. That's really cool. And a whole bunch of beads. But yeah, you so, and I were talking earlier about the beads, all the beads that are thrown bagfuls like that at yes. these uh, at everybody who's out here. Yes, it's not just one or two beads. It's truly like an entire handful thrown at people and it was quite exciting. I caught a few to the eye. That was painful, but I had a great time. Did you catch anything today? Uh, you know, I caught a few beads. I did in, you know, the moon pies. I tried to get my hand on as many moon pies <laughs> as I could. The mint and the peanut butter, I, I understand. I've heard from a bunch of people yeah. have not confirmed it, but I understand that they're going to quit making the mint and the peanut butter. Really? I'm going to look into it though because if that's the case, I've got 
got a bunch, and well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to them as had, long as I can. I had one of my my second one today, and it was quite good. So I definitely yeah. enjoyed that. Nonetheless, thank you so much for joining me. It's been such a fun day, and for now, we're gonna send it back to you guys there in the studio. You realize that they're bragging right now, right? You are bragging. Well, hey, go ahead at have at it. Mint moon pies. We got our beef Mint too. Moon pies. Actually, it's empty, so <laughs> <laughs> we set it up. We got our own little Mardi Gras parade in here. <laughs> so 